Good morning guys. It is currently 7.09 and it's Thursday, August 22nd. I'm currently on the way to school. It's my second last day of school. So I'm starting a vlog today and I'm going to just vlog my last couple of days here at Aveda. But I have to get on the road because I'm a little late. So I'll catch y'all over there at school. Okay, I just got to school. I'm kind of late, not late, like it's 8.30, what, 8.35? And I prefer to get here at 8.20 so I can have time to chill for a bit. But I only have like a couple minutes just to apply lipstick. I didn't apply anything this morning because I drink um, my breakfast. Like I have like a little milkshake thingy. So I don't want to mess up my lips. So anyways, I'm putting on L'Oreal's Color Rouge Lip Liner in Beyond Pink. I don't really like it, but I'm trying to use it up. Um, I prefer like the NYX ones. I actually posted something about it on my Instagram. I'll leave it to right here. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna probably put this on. I don't know. It's really bold. This is Smashbox's Always On Liquid Lipstick in Throwback Jam. So, um, it's a little crusty. I took off the stopper because I couldn't take anything out. But... The formula is really good, it's just, they kind of dry out fast. And I don't have a lip liner this color, so that's why I put on a nude. This is really hard. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> okay. You guys like my little, um, jewelry pieces? I don't know if you guys can see them. I, I know people are looking at me probably, what is she doing and why is she talking to herself in the car? But it's okay because a lot of girls take selfies before they go into school so I don't feel too awkward. I have a little um, blazer. This is actually from Kohl's. I got it like a long, long time ago. This is a blanket. Yes, I do drive with a blanket on my lap. <laughs> It's actually not a good idea though because I get too comfy and that just kind of makes me want to go to sleep even more. I'm already tired in the morning but um, anyways I'm gonna get my stuff together and yeah it's almost 8 40 so I need to go inside now to clock in. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hi guys okay so it's lunchtime and I forgot my camera in my locker so that's a great start to this part of the vlog um so that's why the camera quality is a little different i'm going to panera i think because it's like straight across from my school i don't want to get into traffic and i don't want anyone to see my parking spot so yes that's what i'm doing right now we really didn't do much okay i'm trying not to run anyone over i'm still in the parking lot so don't worry um, but we didn't do much because on Thursdays and Fridays, we don't take clients, um, like in the morning, we take clients like, um, so yeah, we were just learning about a new color line that Veda was coming out with, and today is guest appreciation day, so we have 20% off, like, pre-bookings and any, any products that you buy today. Not that any of you guys care, and like it wouldn't really after one, I think. So it was just a chill morning, and we can't have our phones out. I actually got yelled at. Well, not yelled at, but my teacher was like, put your phone away. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry. So I wasn't playing games, like I was writing notes, but it's okay. I understand. School rules benefit y'all. But, um, because <laughs> I'm posting this a couple days after. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm blocked until like 2 and then I have a client in the afternoon. It's just like a color retouch. Now, someone in the comments of my last video said, I forgot your name, I'm so sorry. Someone said or asked me if I could like vlog that part where I'm like with an actual client. I don't know these people, like I'm not comfortable with putting pulling out a camera on them and you know, it's just like everything is timed. Like I only have so much time with these clients. I really don't have time to ask them like, hey, can I pull out this camera? Like my station is already really, really small. Like the space tight. So I barely can fit my implements on the little 
desk thing for me. So I'm sorry about that if I've disappointed you guys, but yes, it's just a color retouch. I'm turning into the Panera parking lot now. I told you, it's seriously like the shortest car ride. I always order the same thing. I order um, broccoli cheddar soup and half of a Mediterranean vegetarian sandwich thingy. I just wanted to show y'all my food. Look how yummy this looks. Here's that sandwich. It has tomato, 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 onion, some lettuce, and some cheese, and some like avocado thing. And the bread is really good. It's tinted pink. I don't know what they put in it, but it's kind of sweet. And then the broccoli cheddar soup. I think everyone likes this TBH. And then their infamous bread. And then there's a the bag. I don't know why I just showed you the bag, but I'm gonna eat this, watch some YouTube, and yeah. Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm about to take my last client ever. I can't record it because I can't have my phone on the floor, but I just wanted to say that and document this because I'm kind of in disbelief that my journey here at Aveda is like to an end. But yeah, okay, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. stuff because I am blocked so I don't have any clients tomorrow oh and yeah thanks to Chrissy for recording me doing like someone's hair which was my last client ever isn't that crazy um, I think I want to get party caps like little triangle hats because I think that would be so cute and like cheesy for everyone to wear when I clock out tomorrow so we'll see if I end up buying that okay I'm gonna set down the camera and I want to go home so let's go I'm ready to eat but yeah, okay, I'm gonna go now. Okay guys, so I just got home, but I stopped by the gas station, of course, and I also am at uh, the Dollar Tree because I had a red idea. Oh my gosh, that person just scared me much. People, people are right next to my car and I got really scared. Okay, so I had the bright idea of buying everyone like party hats so that they can wear tomorrow for my clock out. Um, and also we're having a party, like a little end of the year party, and I think that would be so cute. Hopefully they have something like that at the Dollar Tree, if not, it's okay. Grab some cash, and head on over. Okay, these would be perfect. This would be, okay, I think this is cute. cute peppers good morning guys it is Friday my last day at Aveda Institute I can't believe it I literally remember me crying on the first day of school because I was just so anxious I didn't know how I was gonna do it for a whole year like it was a lot on me um, I think my sister has a clip of me crying that's like so embarrassing Um, but yeah, I really, I don't know, I feel kind of like, I can't believe it. I'm really proud of myself, like super proud of myself. I've come such a long way, and I have so much more to go through. I know that. This is 
just the beginning. Like, this was honestly just to get my state board, like, training so I can get my license. And then after that, only God knows where I'm going to go. I honestly don't have a job yet. And that's one thing that makes me so anxious is when people ask me, where are you going to work at? Like, are you going to a salon? And I'm like, um, the answer is I don't have a job yet, but I really want to pursue being a makeup artist. Like, that's just my passion. Don't get me wrong. I found another passion in hair. It's just that will take some time because I'm not, I'm not perfect at it yet. Hair is like a whole different ball game. Like, it's so much more... That I ha there's so much more that I have to learn, but with makeup, I mean, I'm not saying I know everything about makeup, but I feel like I, that's a good starting place for me. I can find, like, somewhere in the beauty industry that I can fit in right away because I feel like I've, I have a good understanding of makeup, and I can start getting some moolah in that part. Let me put it right here. But yes, it's 8.34. I'm going to go in, clock in. I think I will clock out by like 3 or around 4, around that time period. But oh my gosh. And then you know how I bought party hats from the Dollar Tree yesterday? Halfway here, I forgot. Like I remembered that I forgot them at my house. And I was like, crap. Because, you know, that was supposed to be the whole... I, it's alright, it's alright. I'll... I'll use them for my brother's birthday. Christopher, my brother, is turning 26 on Monday, so hey, yeah, so. Good thing someone in my family has a birthday coming up because then those party hats would have just collected dust. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go in and I'll try to record as much as I can. We're having a party today and I think we're having Sam's Pizza because there's like a Sam's Club in front of my school. So girls are going to get stuff from there. Which, by the way, I have to bring some money because I forgot my money yesterday for the pizza. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that girl and use some gordas. <laughs> but while I collect these quarters, I'm gonna let y'all go. Like I still can't believe I forgot the party hats. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself. <sighs> This is the famous girl that inspired my Taco Bell video, right, Kaylee? Yep. It was ringing Hope. for like two seconds. Natalie. You don't have okay. to say about me. Natalie is the best person ever. She hypes me up every day, and I love her so much. And Hope, she's so glamorous. And Kaylee, <laughs> your southern accent will always be in my head. Chrissy is pizzas. being um, responsible oh, and it, seeing if our pizza's ready. It can be ready before 11. This is a party, but we don't have the pizza yet. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, this is my like teacher. Right I mean, yeah, if you want. I need to think about what think about okay. Okay. Just think about it. She's one of the best teachers what? ever. And Latoya. Are you <laughs> recording? Yeah. Oh, no. We'll record it when you're talking <laughs> out. I'll go to the okay. Okay. Like, What's some advice you have to send? Well, it's going to be a little too, like, hectic there. I think yeah, right now really? is a good time. So you can record us together while she's scarfing her Okay. Video. What do you guys have advice for me after my adventure here and, like, in the real world? After you are done eating, of course, it's okay. Take your time. Advice. My advice is keep doing what you do. Okay. Your professionalism is outstanding. You always present yourself very well. Keep doing that. Consistency and hard work and professionalism are key in this industry. And never stop learning. Yeah. Thank you. My advice is always look the part, no matter where you are, because you never know when your next opportunity is going to present itself, and you want to make sure you're prepared. Always have two or three pairs of comfortable shoes in your car <laughs> and get some water. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> and get used to starving yourself on Saturday. <laughs> That's very true. Well, ladies, you heard it. They're very wise people. Uh, yeah. Right now. I'm going to cry. <laughs> this is what your lunch is going to look like on Saturdays. <laughs> all day. That's all you eat on Saturdays. You yeah. 200, 200 calories. Your lunch, That's it. Your lunch on Saturdays will be a Starbucks cup. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Womp, womp. Over in the corner somewhere. Just I don't know. This is Miss P. She's an educator at Aveda. <laughs> Miss P, just give me advice. Just tell me what I need to know for whenever I get out of here. Do what you do. Do what you do. You're great. It's a hard world. Just don't let people say no. Just keep going for it. Thank you. She's very wise, too. <laughs> Miss Anna. She's over there eating some food. Do you want to be on my YouTube video? <laughs> 
after you're done eating, you can tell me some advice for whenever I leave here. Oh my Don't God. cry. <laughs> Where do you Today. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, please, follow me. So, you have anything for me? No. I miss Anna. I write it down here. Okay, thank you. I love you. <laughs> the Last Supper, y'all. The Last Supper. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody take pizza. Yum, thanks, Kaylee, for cookies and brownies. I needed to get some cookies, but I'm gonna eat my pizza. Yeah. The whole thing. It's right. <laughs> I'm recording now? Yeah, you're recording now. Okay. Where's your number? How do I clock out? Wait. <laughs> 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 what are you doing this? Um, I'm just going to wait. Yeah, I'm probably done. One, two, three. me clocking out kind of crazy I can't believe it it's rainy but it stopped so it was just in time for me to clock out safely drive home and stuff but yeah let me just get situated <sighs> like it hasn't rained in such a long time and of course it would start raining on the day that I have to clock out at the exact time too that's crazy <sighs> So now that I'm in my car, I'm gonna reflect on this whole year. It was a heck of a year, y'all. Like, I learned so much. I, I don't know what to say, honestly. I'm kinda, I'm thankful for everyone, for all the good times, for all the bad times, for the times that I didn't wanna wake up, for the times that I felt like giving up, for the times that I thought that I couldn't do it. So this is just a message for anyone who wants to start cosmetology school, or is in cosmetology school and feels discouraged, don't give up. This is only the beginning. If you really want it, work hard for it, be determined, and everything will fall into place. So sorry about the music. Yeah, so that's something that I learned from my parents. I'm very lucky to have hardworking parents, and I thank them because without them, this couldn't have happened. Without the educators, I wouldn't have all the knowledge that I have. And I'm just excited for my future. I'm really, really nervous, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, like seeing everyone just lined up to see me clock out made me a little emotional, but I was very happy to see that so many people cared for me. <sighs> it's kind of crazy because a year ago, I literally cried the first day of school because it was just so overwhelming. It was such a long drive and I didn't think I would make friends, so it's so ironic, you know, but okay, I'm going to stop talking now. I hope that y'all enjoyed my vlog of these last couple of days out of Veda, and if you're thinking about coming here, I think it's worth it. Just know what you're coming here for, don't play games, work your butt off, and it will be a very positive journey. Just always be positive, no matter how hard it is, always keep your chin up that's something that 
I live by because if you're not your own hype girl, then you're always gonna feel poopy, you know? So think positive, be grateful, and work your butt off, guys. Okay, thanks so much for watching this vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video.